Paul Simpson came back from medical school, a flop, a failure, and all cried out. Paul's problem? He over-empathized with his patients. When, say, telling a child they needed their tonsils out, he promptly burst into tears. <laughs> sure, there are other, more desired qualities for a doctor to have. But I loved him for it. In high school, Ms. Morgan taught senior English. What few of her students knew, though, was that buried within was the heart of a hopeless poet. Her classes sped through Hamlet and skipped through Heart of Darkness. But whenever her lessons came to poetry... See, every time Ms. Morgan opened her treasure tome of verse, she promptly... <laughs> yes, promptly... <laughs> <laughs> Her students wondered if there weren't other more desired qualities for an English teacher to have. But when I was in her class, I loved her for it. From the time she was a little girl, Andrea Roach's first love was Paul Simpson. Her second, figure skating. With Paul and her mother in tow, she stalked every exhibition, competition, and ice capade there was. She dreamed of the day that she'd fly through the air like her heroes. Still, nobody could understand why every time she performed with Paul in the stands. <laughs> I loved her for it. In this story, somebody dies. Somebody becomes a murderer. And someone gets to fall in love. There's something about the romance of high school. After a student graduates, there's always the predictable return visit. It's like they want my post-mortem on their youth. It's about approval. But Paul Simpson wasn't looking for approval only. His needs ran somewhat deeper. Ms. Morgan taught me. Some might say I inspired him. Others might say she led him on with her vixen ways. How to do a jump proper like. Throw your weight, all of your weight, up into the air, spinning once, maybe twice if you can. Then land and drive your skate into the ice as hard as you can so as not to lose balance with your blade. It was Andrew that called the ambulance. <coughs> She kindly wanted to inform them that there had been an accident. <gasps> Any person can do anything. The police didn't have a murder weapon. Nobody suspected me. But there was a certain someone I needed to let know. I considered forming a revenge plot typical to my character. Maybe beat her to death with a book. But revenge plots, too devicey. As a teacher, I'd always found them too cliche. Characters who suffer silently with their grief, those are rarer. It's best left unsolved. No one gets the last word. Last word? I would have taken it. But I was a little choked up. 
I think she probably really liked me. She definitely pretended to. Now, Andrea never cries. People assume she's overwhelmed with sadness and grief. But strangely, her skating, much, much better. People need a reason. Every question needs an answer. Things can't just happen. But they do. They happen all the time. It's like when people die. When people become murderers. Or even when people fall in love. 